Hello, uh, me again. This is going to be the last update I do, at least today. Um, so, and this is, uh, yeah, Comcare introduction parts five, I think. Um, and I just wanted to show, uh, you know, I've, I've been using this, this uh, web-based um, tool for testing the app. It's super convenient. Um, I did want to just quickly show what it looks like to to get an app onto a device. Um, so, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get to the settings screen. This is uh, just here from the name of your application. So if I click on uh, course sabbatical, um, that will take me to uh, this settings page. And the first thing I'm going to do is click uh, make new version. And so basically what this is doing is just kind of packaging up a snapshot of the application that, that I've made so far um, with uh, everything I, I need to, to deploy it to a phone. So cool. So it, it looks like it's done. It's uh, showing me now version 55, zero errors. Uh, great. So I'm going to click publish. And yeah, so we can see Comcare is telling me I, I don't have any mobile workers, so uh, only mobile workers can log into Comcare. Um, so create your first mobile worker. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and yeah, this is, this is an interesting distinction. Um, basically, the account you use to log into Comcare HQ and uh, build your application is a different account than the account that you're going to use on the phone. Um, and this is typically you know, how it works. Usually, the people who are building the applications are not the people using the applications. And in my specific case, that, that happens to not be the case. I'm the, both the builder and the user. Um, but so you have two accounts. The, the main difference is basically your web account can access uh, any number of project spaces. So you can see my. Uh, I've got all these project spaces. Um, a lot of them are test. Um, but your mobile account is restricted to one project space. Um, and the nice thing about that is your username only has to be unique within that project space. So I can, I can choose the name Corey. Uh, I'll enter my name. I will enter a password. I'm going to use a very simple password. Um, great. So now I've, I've made my mobile worker. I can go, hopefully I can go back to this tab now and click publish. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't know I did that, so I'm going to refresh the page. Uh, okay, now I'm going to click publish. And so I'm going to get this dialog that's uh, got some options. The main one is download to Android. I want to do that. Um, online install, that sounds good. Uh, so it's telling me to download Comcare from Google Play. I've already done that. Um, open the app on Android and use one of the following installation methods, scan application barcode or enter app code on installation screen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan the barcode. Um, and now, hopefully, we can see my phone here. Uh, so I'm going to open up Comcare. Um, and I'm going to click this scan application barcode button. Um, and now I've got the barcode. And sorry about the, the screen resolution um, of, of the phone casting here. So now I'm going to click the start install button. And this will now uh, go download my configuration files from Comcare HQ. Um, It'll set up my application, and boom. So now I've got my application installed. I'm going to use the username and password that I just created over there uh, on the other page when I set up my mobile worker. Uh, my password is uh, going to be visible. I will change that after I do the screencast, although really, if you want to log into my application and uh, 
log your hikes and running and surfing as me. Uh, well, you're a strange person if you want to do that. Uh, great. So that's it. Now I've got the application on here. We can see um, I've got you know these forms just like just like on the preview thing. Uh, I'm going to go into manage activities. Um, the way I set it up, each user has has their own set of activities. So um, so if I go to update activity, for example, I'm going to see a blank list uh, because I haven't made any uh, any activities as as my mobile worker. Um, but since this is the uh, since this is the main account I plan to use, uh, I'm going to add running. Um, and I'll add surfing, and I will add hiking. And so another thing you'll you'll see, and and it'd be more apparent if if the frame rate was a little better. Um, but so Comcare is is actually the mobile app is much snappier than uh, than the web emulator, so it's a little bit. Uh, nicer to work with. Now I'm in my event screen. Um, so let's log that run from this morning. Uh, 45 minutes. It was, oh, and I just blew right past the date. It, it defaulted to today, which, which was exactly what I wanted it to do. So um, that's good. We can see our, our fun little back to the future validation there if we want. Uh, score eight. Done and done. Um, yeah, and so you'll see this unsent forms thing here. Comcare will sync your data in the background, so you don't you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, the other cool thing it will do is sync this across devices. So if I had another device uh, here, I could uh, log in and um, I would see uh, I would see all the data that I've I've just made. So you can you can use this offline, but you can also use it to to sync across your across your different devices. Uh, yeah, all right. So that is deploying uh, your application to a phone and using it. Hope you have gotten value out of this, and I will see you next time.